everyone. I'm Melissa Scheidemann. I hope you're doing well. And today I have a September and October reading wrap-up video. So let's get started. So in today's September and October reading wrap-up video, I will be talk, discussing um, the book that I read in September, which is uh, the Pottermore Presents ebook called Hogwarts, An Incomplete and Re Unreliable Guide. And then in October, I finished Jeff Dunham's book, uh, which is called All By Myself. Walter, Peanut, Ahmed, and me. And then I also have a special guest in this video today, my fiance, who has finished and has read many books in the Expanse book series. So we will be, him and I will be discussing the Expanse. So let's start now. So let's start with the Expanse book series, and we'll also touch on the TV series since I have not read any of the books. But so let's start with the Expanse series. So, how did you like the the book the books that you read recently in the Expanse book series? I liked them a lot. Um, I read started with the Leviathan Wakes, which was the first one, and I just finished. Uh, Babylon's Ashes, uh, which was book six, and um, I've just started uh, Persephone's Rising, which is the seventh book uh, in the series, and it's uh, probably one of my favorite um, sci-fi uh, series to read right now. Um, we have been also watching the show, too. Yes. Uh, the new season is due to come out next month. I think on the 13th of December. Yeah. And uh, that I've already read the book for that one, so I already know what's going to happen in that. How are you liking the show? I am really liking the show. It's it's very interesting, and I do enjoy the story. Yeah, the show is it. it it's, How would you compare the show to the books? The show is a little over dramatized. Uh, there is not nearly as much drama between the characters, uh, to a certain extent. If you read the books, you'll understand what I mean. The, uh, whole dislike between Amos and, uh, Holden at the beginning of the, uh, first season is nowhere in the book. <laughs> they, they don't hate each other, <laughs> all right? <laughs> um, but that, mm -hmm. that's in the show. Okay. And then, um... Naomi is not even off the ship in the entire third season. Uh, is completely different than some of the book. They rebuilt one character from the way up. Drummer takes the place of like three or four characters and they removed one okay. character. They'll be doing the same thing in the next series. It appears that they are completely removing one of the other characters. I won't spoil it too much, I guess. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> But anyway, um... So how would you rate, if you can give a rating to the overall book series, what would you rate that out of five? Uh, it's pretty much a five, I would say. You think it was written well and... Yeah, yeah, I think so. And um, it held your, holds your interest. Yeah, definitely, oh, definitely, definitely held my interest. Uh, Do you, um... There's some it, parts in Babylon Ashes where it's just... I continued to want to not put it down and continue to read. Uh, the spoilers, at one Are point, there... there is quite the uh, space fight in uh, Babylon's Ashes that is just insane mm -hmm. to keep track with. I think I need to read it again. <laughs> so, Corey, um, did you uh, like any books better than the others? Or if you could rate individually rate them? 
Would you rate them out of five, or um, are they all a five? And they're please? about all at least a four or five. I would say you can read, you should read them all. But the worst one I would say probably was. Uh, I think the first one was a difficult one to because it was just back and forth. There was nobody else that they read of. Mm -hmm. I guess since I didn't watch the series to begin with, the first one is good. It's just you have to get so used to going only between two characters, and then the rest of the time there's more characters okay. to go ahead and read off. So, um, and then really until book five where they start to have a character, a chapter of each character in, on the ship called the Rasanante, okay. which is the main ship from the series. So, right. What would be your... Okay, so you discussed the worst that you think. Which one do you do you think would be the best book that you've read so far? I mean, your favorite. Your top favorite. Do you have a top favorite? Probably Abaddon's... What is it? I think it's called uh, Abaddon's Gates. So it was a lot better the book than the uh, season three. Uh, on the... Uh, show was it was good to just they kind of spend everything on up and in Abaddon's Gates they kind of spread it out a little bit more mm -hmm. so I like that and then um, also Babylon's Ashes the last one that I read it was pretty good too I like that one the best. okay but we'll see where this one goes because the uh, the protomonocle kill re reappears in it so okay they go further into that. <laughs> oh, all right. There's a little sneak peek. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, um, is there anything else you would like to discuss oh, about the, the expanse, or is that it? Do you have any other questions for me? I don't have any more questions for you. Okay. Then. All right. So, um, so that wraps up. The, the Expanse book series, and um, we'll move on to the next book, which would be one of the ones that I have read alone. So thank you, Corey, for joining me in this video. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe when you read more of them, we can get an update. In the future, yes, yes, and yeah, I do uh, book reviews also on my channel once a month, along with some games. Uh, link down in the description below. Uh, yeah, I'll put, I'll put the link in the description below. So, uh, yeah, you can go check out his channel as well. So, all right, let's move on. So, the next book that's going to be discussed in this video is the book that I finished in September, which would be the Pottermore uh, Presents ebook, which is called Hogwarts, An Incomplete and Unreliable Guide. And uh, I really enjoyed that book. Uh, well, I enjoy anything Harry Potter. And I just thought that that information was very interesting. Uh, it is in this Pottermore Presents ebook, the top, in this Pottermore Presents ebook, the topics that are discussed is information about Hogwarts and which for example uh, there are sections on the Soaring Hat and the Castle of Ghosts and the Hogwarts Express among others that are related to the Hogwarts setting and ground grounds and uh, so I would rate that book as a five, as I am a huge Harry Potter fan, and I felt that that information was very interesting to 
read about to learn more about in detail of those topics. And the final book that will be discussed in this video is the, uh, the book that I finished in October, which would be Jeff Dunham's memoir book, which is called All By Myself, Walter, Peanut, Ahmed, and Me. And I enjoy this book as well. I felt that it was, the stories were organized very well, and uh, I, it was funny. So I enjoyed reading all the stories on uh, his career journey and how he came up with each of his characters, and uh, yeah, I thought it was very interesting. I would... I do love his comedy shows, which I have been to three already, and will be attending a fourth in March when he comes close on his tour down to where we live, down to where Corey and I live. And so I would rate this book a five out of five and uh, I thought yeah I really enjoyed it I thought the stories were or organized very well and uh, it was definitely an enjoyable read so yeah so that is all the books that will, that are discussed in this wrap-up for the months of September and October I hope you enjoy this video. If you liked it, please click the like button. If you have read any of the books that were discussed in this video or you plan on reading them, please comment below with your thoughts. And if you see want to see any of my future videos, then click the subscribe button below. Thank you all for watching. Until next time, bye.